Hey everybody, it's Boy Next Got Eight Today we're back from another video. And today we're gonna be playing a game called Splitgate. Let's go. And you might be wondering, what type of game is this? Well, it's kind of like a, a style of Apex, but no. I'll show you how it works. So there's a battle pass as well, where you can get up levels. And there's some challenges that can get you XP. There's your career, stats, lead awards, and replays of your matches. And there's the item shop with this thing called split coin as well as namely the currency of the game. And there's the weapons, jetpacks, portal gun, characters, and also weapon or sprays as well. So I'll show you how the whole thing works. So let me just show you the tutorial and, and I'll show you how this works. So you can walk to the goal with just normally by using the L circle. You can crouch walk as well. And you can also see the video on the top right corner of the screen right there. And you can even jump. And you can jump again. And then you can sprint and jump. There you go. Now you can even jetpack onto it, which is like you can fly, but it has a little bar that yes, you can see that goes down every the more time you're down. So, here is a weapon called the carbine. Is, this is what the carbine is. It's kind of like a little distance thing as well. There we go. And that's one weapon. Let's pick up the assault rifle. Then let's pick up the pistol. Then there we go. And this is where uh, some things get interesting. You can use portals to navigate your way around the place. Look at this. You can easily close the portals as well. And then you can even go back by just uh, going through here with left and right portals. And you can even portal up upwards as well. Which is a pretty cool feature. And you can even walk through enemy portals. You can pick up EMP grenades. And if the portal is red, then that's the enemy's portal. But then you can throw EMPs, which we can disable the portal. And you can portal behind your enemy as well. But it's not just that. You can even do this. By melee. And you can even kill an enemy through their portal or even through your portal. Check it out. There, as you can see, he died right there. And then I'm just going to make a portal right there. Then look at that. You can easily demolish anybody. And you can even do an emote as well. And there we go. All right, so you beat the. T and there we go. That is split gate. Now let me show you how to get. You know, let's try to get into a real game. So there's uh, these a bunch of modes like quick plays where you can do team deathmatch, team fiesta, sniper frenzy, team objective, no portals, team rumble, SWAT, search and survive, FFA brawl, and there's also ranked, ranked takedown, ranked four v four, where there's the feature playlist as well. Which is a bunch of random ones as well. And the year Fiesta. And you can also custom uh, create or join a custom game where you decide the map, weapons, and more. And you can even race through the uh, you can even race through courses on the map trying to collect items. Here's a practice range where you can practice your skills. And here's a map creator where you can actually create your own maps. You can even invite your friends onto the thing. But my favorite of all um, modes is team deathmatch. I'll show you how it works. But first, let's get into a queue. Alright, so we're in the queue, and this is the waiting area where you can just practice against fighting off other enemies. I'm not going to show this part because, let's see, look, as you can see that I just died, but it also takes, it's not exactly the real game. This is just a part, uh, this is just like a fraction of uh, what's coming on Splitgate. But yet again, I'm going to be doing a couple of videos of Splitgate as well, and I have a feeling it's going to be fun. So, I'll show you guys how this uh, whole game works, and <laughs> maybe you can give some tips to yourself as well. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of fun. But in the meantime, while I'm in this waiting area trying to practice off my skills, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, there's already that. 
Yeah, you can even do voice chat in this one as well. You can do voice chat with your team or proximity chat as well. You can even vote on which map you want to do. I'm going to be voting Pantheon, which is a team deathmatch thing. So, team deathmatch is where you have over... Let me think. So, here's where you can do as well as this. You have six Ten, minutes to get 40 it. kills to Five, win. Four, and... Three, two, one. You have the weapons AR and Carbine, for starters. These are my favorite weapons that I never really uh, change because the, the AR is most flexible on every single uh, type of scenario. And Carbine is where like you can hit your enemies really hard, but at a fast pace as well. So those are my favorite weapons of the game, which is namely the starter weapons. Because they're mainly the most OP thing. There we go, that was one. That was one kill. You can even, and, and these are the walls that you have to Find use the, the portals leader. through instead of before do that. But you can, uh, but you have to get 40 kills to win the match along with your teammate. As you can see, I died, but it's infinite spawn as well. So you can spawn and die as many times as you want. Probably not the most suitable option, if I'm being completely honest. <laughs> but anyway, it's a situation where let's try to do it. Look at that. Easy. You can even check out where, uh, how many kills and what your score is. So as you can see, Nick Mush is me right there. As you can see, Nick Mush is me on the top right corner. Where you can even look at your kills, how you're doing, and even your score as well. As you can see, I just died right there, so that's going to be a bit painful. <laughs> but let's see how this is going to turn out. Cause this uh, game is actually pretty com uh, pretty simple. Look, uh, look at that. Yo, he's about to escape. Alright, let's go. And you can even have infinite health. Uh, it's you, all you gotta do is just wait for it to regenerate. Alright, I did. And you can even get accolades where... Uh, uh, accolades? I don't know what they're... I don't know what they're called, bro. Huh. But you can, uh, but you can get medals, which are like, kind of well, as well as that. It's like accomplishments where you can get King Slayer first blood. King Slayer is like where you uh, slayed a lot of dudes, namely killed a bunch. And you can, as you can see, I just got King Slayer, which is for getting a high amount of kills and going on a roll without dying. And you can see that I'm doing. Then you can also get first blood, which is like getting the first kill in the entire game. Which on your I don't know if it's on your team, but if it's on the whole team, I have no idea because I've not played eh, that much split game lately. <laughs> but it's a situation where you can get used to it by time. So yeah, it's a pretty good thing. As well. Oh, uh, he's one, he's one shot. He's one shot, he's one shot. Let's get him out of here. Let's go. Yo, I got 11 kills so far. Look at that. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. So far, I haven't seen any enemy portals, which is a thing. Let's go. Killing spree is when you can get five... When you're on five kills, but without dying. You can even get kick, uh, kill election agency, which is like getting ten kills. 
without dying. Which is a pretty hard thing to accomplish sometimes because most of the guys that you find can be either insane or absolute crap. But I don't know. Drake the Great. Look at that, boy. Ah, okay, man. I got killed by Beyond the. One minute remaining, and we're currently tied. That is scary. All right, let's go. Gain the lead. Let's go. All right, let's explore this place, man. Might need team back up. We are currently tied on kills. Oh. Gee, where the duck? Ow! Lost the lead. Ow! Tied the leader. Lost the lead. Tied the leader. Let's go. We kill Moonlight Tunes. We got, uh, oh, we are over three seconds, cool, uh, one, Game let's go, over. we won the first Victory. match, let's go. Oh, gee, him, he. huh, man, that dude had some nice kills, man, but it's pretty good. And as you can see, I get experience and some challenges. And look at that. 16 kills, 13 score, and 4. And you can even get the uh, post-game stats, which is like, on you can get the higher kills in your, in your entire team, the lower deaths, or the 13 score. I apparently scored the lowest, which is something as well. But I mean, eh, what's next? But... Anyway, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to subscribe, and have a great day, and I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas, and I sincerely want you guys to wonder, what do you guys think of Splitgate so far? Should I continue playing it? But it's a situation where I'm like, I'm happy to show you guys what I'm playing and what I'm doing for now. But yet again, it's a situation where... I have an honest review of what I... I want you guys to give me an honest review of what you think of Splitgate. And should I play it in the future. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.